culverts are often classed as hazardous environments and can be confined spaces. As a result, culvert screens are often installed to help prevent safety issues. However, the installation of these screens can create other issues, including increased water levels. We have three different culvert screens, vertical screen, angled screen and step screen, and these will show various different effects on the water levels and velocity. So this is our vertical screen and we'll add it to the channel. Vertical screens create a real risk to safety. For example, if a person gets washed down a river and pinned against a screen, there's no way of getting out easily. These kind of screens also make screen clearance and debris clearance very difficult because it's very tricky pulling up the debris off the screen, particularly when there's a high pressure behind it. For the purposes of our demonstration, we're going to use this scouring pad as our piece of debris. By adding it to the channel, we can see the effect of debris on a screen. And the water level has now risen to 13 centimetres. Here is our angled screen. So we'll add it to the water to see what effect it has. So the water level has risen to 6.8 centimetres. By adding debris to the screen, it's risen slightly to 8 centimetres. By introducing the duck, we can see there's slightly less risk of getting pinned. The water is flowing more freely through the flume. The third type of screen we will look at is a step screen. So this has more surface area than the previous two screens. By adding this to the water, the water level is now 6.6 .6 centimetres. And again, by adding our debris, we can see that the water level has risen slightly, but not quite as much as the others. It's now 7.6 centimetres. Taking the debris out, we'll just show how the duck moves against the screen, slightly less risk of getting pinned. There's now not enough pressure to hold it against the screen. This type of screen is also more easily cleaned by being able to scrape the debris off at an angle. 